considered you weren't inoffensive to the caviar? Yeah. yeah, our company Sterling Caviar, we're trying to find what's probably going to be impossible. We're looking for like a wine expert, a sommelier that has experience pairing uh, caviar with wine and who can go around, get us some publicity, go to wineries and upscale restaurants, maybe country clubs, and expose them to how uh, they can pair caviar, why they should put it on their menu, on and on. And you know, when uh, she gave my number to her friend and she called me and she said, okay, Eric, based on everything your friend says and you know, your, your background in sales too, I think this is too good to be true, so let's talk. So this is a Jean Charles, uh, Jean -Charles Boisse caviar infused vodka. Uh, it's a very pricey vodka and that's because it uses Pinot Noir and Chardonnay grapes with which to make the vodka. And it really and truly is sturgeon, white sturgeon infused caviar vodka. It's these crackers are designed to help enhance some of the characteristics that are natural in the caviar. So, nutty characteristics, that's why I have the little small almond crackers. Okay. To help you identify the nutty characteristics of the caviar. With the water crackers, those are the most neutral. They don't have much flavor at all. It just adds a little bit of starchiness to the caviar, tones down some of the piece of the seed, right? And then, of course, you have the butter cookies or butter crackers. That's to enhance the creaminess and buttery characteristics of the caviar. So that's why I have those different things. The bellini is going to have a similar effect as the butter crackers. And I definitely recommend you try it with the bellini. That is, again, one of the most traditional ways to try caviar. Yeah, yes. This is like Russian pancakes right here in the room.